Hi, I'm Petit Selenya Anna Arin and in this video, I will present about the organizational chart of Resources Planning Division or known as Perancangan Sumber which form under Sarawak Timber Industry Development Corporation. Basically, STIDC is the organization that's founded in June 1973 by Perbadanan Kemajuan Perusahaan Kayu Sarawak Ordinance 1973. The purpose of this organization is to promote the growth of the timber industry in Sarawak and to stimulate all possible ways to expand the wood-based industry throughout Sarawak at a role consistent with interest of economy, availability of capital and effective management of forest resource. Meanwhile, Perancangan Sumber is an organization that helps to ensure the resource of raw material and manpower will continuously sustainable and meet the current needs in timber industry. For your information, there are 17 divisions that form under SCIDC which include Resource Planning Division, which is the Perancangan Sumber, and Enforcement Divisions. The General Manager of SCIDC is Haji Hashim bin Haji Pojet, and Assistant General Manager for Perancangan Sumber Division is Haji Hamsah bin Haji Moshidi. The purpose of constructing organizational chart in the organization is First, to improve the communications between employees. It is because when the communication is good among employees, it can avoid the overdue job and the positive environment. As we know, workers in some sections often work together to accomplish the project. So when the communications between them are good, this can lead them to produce the best product for their company. The second purpose is to define each role of each employee. It is because if the workers simply come to the office and done their own duty as an officer, it will cause the goal of the company are difficult to achieve. So by having the organizational chart in company, employees can clear about their duties and responsibility as the roles are shown in the chart and the positive vibes in the company can motivate them to achieve the goal. As we know, hierarchical, metric and flats are three types of organizational chart. So, Perancangan Sumber use hierarchical types in constructing their chart. It is because the highest position, which is Assistant General Manager, is on the top of organization and lowest are beneath them. In addition, the officials with highest positions but lowest than assistant general manager also has their own branch and staff under them. So the pros of hierarchical types are first, it can clear the employees' roles and responsibility in the organizations. When they have their own position in the organizations, People tend to more alert on their roles and done their part to avoid the overdue job. Besides, hierarchy also has a clear chance of command. In the hierarchical structure, employees are aware of whom they report and who reports to them. This means the communication follows defined and predictable paths, allowing the manager and director in the organization to ask questions regarding tasks to the appropriate parties. Meanwhile, the cons of hierarchical types is the organizational fragmentation will be occur. Although employees strive for one purpose, in some cases, when one division in the organization success in accomplish the task, they will be more likely to celebrate the success with members because the task is given to them and this will create a professional attitude in the organization and unhealthy competition between divisions will be occur. So, the relationships between the divisions will be weak and eventually cause the organizations to become weak and collapse. The general manager Haji Hashim bin Haji Bojet are responsible to monitor and assess the progress of each department under STIDC. 
he need to frequently inspect the progress of the workers in each department to ensure that the goal of organizations are achieved. For example, he organized the post-mortem after divisions accomplish a project so that he can identify the weakness and the strength of the teams. Meanwhile, as the assistant general manager, Haji Hamza bin Haji Moshidi are responsible to supervise staff in doing their tasks. Based on my experience undergoing industrial training in this organization in 2020, Tuan Haji Hamza is very strict about the outcome of the project. For example, he observed the staff in doing the forest inventory so that they can get the data that they expected. Besides, he is also responsible to ensure that the staff are in positive vibes in the office so that they can build a good teamwork. Of each station, they are responsible to ensure that all the committee members are works on the task so that they can achieve the goal. For example, before conducting a forest inventory, Puan Nur Idora and officials is conducting a meeting with her teams on budget and transportation that used to go to the site. She also always refers to Haji Hamza on the project progress so that it worked as their plan. There are two strengths of resources planning divisions that I admire. Firstly, they have a strong teamwork relationships. For example, during the forest inventory, they are able to finish the task early than fixed that. It is because they have a good teamwork and cooperate with their leader without many objections. Even though a problem arises during the inventory, they are able to handle it and finish the work early. Besides, this organization has good financial management. This is because they can spend based on predetermined budget. For example, before they went for inventory, they already list out all the items and expenses that incur during the trips. By doing this, they can avoid the wastage and over budget. That's all from me. Thank you.